Hey guys, welcome back to some more Corpse Keeper. You seem to enjoy the first one enough that you wanted to see some more, so here I am with another video to show you the next upgrade in difficulty. The last one that we did, we were on the base difficulty where you only need to kill one hero. This time around, I'm moving up to a difficulty crystal of one. I don't really know what you'd call it, like zero crystal, and then one crystal, two crystal. Not really sure. Either way, uh, in this difficulty, we, we do need to kill three heroes before we can progress. Last time we had to kill one hero, the big knight guy with the, with the sword and the and the shield, before we could fight the demon. This time around, we have to fight three. Now, that's not three knight guys. It'll most likely be... I think there's only three heroes. There's a knight, a jester, and a big madman with two... Uh, like a beast, like a, like a behemoth with two big swords. But uh, the upgrade from that is five heroes, which is, this is the difficulty I can't beat just yet. And I think it's currently the hardest. I'm not sure if there's one above this, but you see here, it says unlock more types of corpses. You need to at least beat the previous difficulty and get up to the next one before you can start seeing the stronger bodies that you can get. The superior knights, for example, I unlocked by getting up to this difficulty that we're going to do today. Um, <laughs> and I've been putting more blood into my altar so that we have better options. Now, I haven't looked at what bodies we have here. Our two temporary bodies, a Templar Knight, which is a very high-end body, by the way. If we didn't have this as a temporary, I'd be using him 100%. But I do have an extra skeleton. We have a Bandit Leader, a Superior Knight of Axe Variety, and a Knight Poleaxe. I'm just noticing now all three of these dudes are axes. The, uh, the bandit leader uses an axe. This guy's got a pole arm, you know, the axe type pole arm. And pole axe. This is pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, uh, the superior knight is the highest tier of all of these. So what I might do, although you can see the depth difference. I was talking about the skulls that increase how many upgrades they can have. So the bandit leader, you can see I've only got resilient heart for him, which increases the chance that he wakes up from being stunned, which is pretty cool. We got to see that in the last video. Uh, my superior axe knight has two, reduces his decay, and increases the speed and distance of his actions. That's going to be busted on this guy, because he's already got great range, but extra speed? Insane. But you can see here, the regular poleaxe one, I almost have all of them unlocked. So his probability of inspiration strike is increased. He also has the wake up from being stunned uh, chance increase, and just 10% more damage. Uh, Corpse Explosion is his last one, which... When he blows up, he hurts the guy, so that might be kind of cool to have. I'll start by making... I mean, we can make all three, really. Let's just make all three and see what we get. I want to put as much emphasis on this knight as possible. I feel like the superior knight is going to be carrying us a fair bit. So we're going to make him first. We'll make you second, and I can put resilient heart on you. What did that do again? That's his stun wake up. Right, right, right. Uh, put the heart on you. We do start with enough meat to make all of them. But I'm kind of going all in on this by making all three of these bodies right away. I could not do Poleaxe. Hang on, let me take a quick peek and see what bones we have. Ah, uh, we've got four four bones of the nun. If I went out, I could find a nun. Just just find nuns in, in my first run. Get at least one bone from them and then from there make a nun. We do have Magical Lightning Knight here, but honestly, I think the Triple Axe Bros is a... Is, uh, not necessarily a mi Wow, one heart gives all three benefits? I was worried we weren't going to get all of his stuff, but no, okay. We get all of his stuff. Superior Axemanship at its finest. Now, what I can do, because I have a genuine full team of three right now, which, by the way, the Superior Knight starting with 15% less decay, he's at zero. That That's that's a depth feature right there. We just read that one. It's so cool seeing him at zero. That's really nice. Means I don't have to go as hard on the... Uh, the juice on this guy. What I'm going to do is actually salvage all these bodies right away. We get some dust and we get one meat from each. But uh, it's mostly the dust. We get four from each of these bodies. Very nice. Now, I haven't taken a look yet to see quick start, short distance. Yeah, medium and long, slow, short. That number, th that third one there needs to be changed. That's a little bit rough. What do you have? Wow, he's got the cool starter. Medium, medium. Actually, the bandit leader looks pretty strong. He looking pretty strong indeed. That's right, he's got the whirlwind spin. Look at that. He's got the cool move. And then we have Polax guy here. He did a lot of work in the last video. Oh, he's got the... I saw someone mention that this looks like it's a JoJo pose. Is that the Dio? Because uh, from this angle here, look at him. He's doing the re. <laughs> he's, he's doing the re. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping to put more emphasis on the bandit leader and the superior knight this time, though. 
Now, equipment. We do start with some extra equips. And it looks as though... In the last time that I played the game, there's been a small update. Looks like they've made it so that if you can't wear the gear, it's redded out. So you can see there's red here. And funny enough, I got three pieces of light armor that I can't wear on my dudes and one piece of heavy armor that I can wear. If the corpse's level is lower than the area, uh, we won't be lower, we'll be on par. But what I can do is actually do something kind of funny. And I'm going to salvage these because I don't plan to use them. We get the iron from them. And now that we have some starting iron, I'm going to recast for a better effect. When bone injury level is one or lower, uh, four, four bonus defense is nice, but one and lower, that just means no bone damage at all. It's kind of hard. When in the Inquisition, magic damage taken is reduced. I probably should have kept the previous one. That, that one there is probably worse <laughs> than what I have. Let's ready up. Let's get some decay juice on them, one for each. And uh, let's head out there and get started and see where we're going to go and what we're going to get. That's a cross lance guy. Now, I need to start picking locations based on who I want to upgrade and who I want to unlock. Because I'm trying to get more, more skulls to get more permanent progression. It was the Inquisition that I had a bonus for, right? Ooh, I could fight a Templar Knight. Mmm. And that's a Superior Sword Knight. There's a Nun. There's a, a regular Court Knight. The Court Knights, I hate fighting Court Knights, dude. They seem to break my bones the easiest. But you know what? Let's go to the Inquisition. We have bonuses for going there on our our uh, superior poleaxe guy. Take one key, one pickaxe. I should start looking at the rewards. I understand that I can see in advance. Yeah, we'll start with him. I can see in advance the kind of stuff I can expect to find in each area. Ooh. Do I think I could handle... You know what? We're going to try it. 50% more XP if I win in the first minute. Will there be a timer? On the bottom right, just above my green gems down there where the blink stuff is. There'll be a timer down there when the fight starts. Above my bone break, I'm sorry. That'll let me see how long until I've run out of time on this time trial challenge. But if I don't kill them in a minute, I get half experience. This is the hardest fight for that. Oh, that was a... Dude, Templar Knight's really cool. One of the few dual-wielding knights in the game. Very cool. Run forward. 15 seconds down. We're looking pretty good so far. He's keeping a really big distance on me here. He's backing up a lot. I'm not used to his moveset. I fought this guy maybe two or three times ever. He's a rare encounter for me. I'm tossing up between running in because he keeps backing up a lot. And every time I move forward, he's mid-swing. So he's baiting me. He's, uh, he's dash punishing. Oh, we can replace the slow starter. Excellent. Look at that. Massive damage increase. It's a medium speed start. Fantastic. And we get three of his bones and his skull. Looking good. Looking good. Dead in time. Extra experience. Court knight. I'm going to let Superior Dude get at least two of these kills, and then we might swap over to Bandit Leader. Oh, you're very slow. I'm underestimating this guy's speed. Mm -hmm. Nice parry. Alright, we're at 11 damage on the combo stack. Oh, that's so slow, dude. Just broke my bones again. I'm at two. Look at that. That's how I knew having uh, bone weakness one and below was going to be rough. He's already broken my bones to level two. But to be fair, these guys in this area are very... Um, I don't know. I kind of like the long distance poke. It's barely any difference in damage. And this thing, it's like a stab is harder to avoid. Having said that, these guys avoid it very easily. I'm going to leave the bones and the eyeballs here. I might take one eyeball. I'll take one eyeball. I should have taken the previous eyeball, actually, if I was going to do this, but whatever. So up to the bandit leader. Ah, bandit leader versus the nun. Might be a hard fight. She's very fast. Wait, he's very fast. Wait, he's got a fast moveset. A bandit leader with a fast moveset? Impossible. Holy crap! The inspiration strike was sick. He's got the leaps, dude! Okay, he is slaying this. Oh, oh my god. Okay, bandit leader might be the carry. Maybe the bandit leader is carrying. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, medium speed, mid distance. Oh, look at the damage increase though. This is this hits twice. But this is this is massive. This is massive. We need this. Uh 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I don't know how many more I need to upgrade on the nuns until I've got all of their skull unlocks and I've got all the depth increased on them. I know I was getting good distance with them, though. A superior sword knight. All right. This is where the difficulty is going to come out because this guy is... This is a higher caliber opponent right now, and we're going to fight... Just default by choosing this difficulty, we're going to fight these harder opponents more frequently in this run as opposed to the, the lower tier. Oh my god, he's just spamming him. Get him, dude. Get him, dude. Okay. Okay, bandit leader. Okay, elite bandit guy. He's kicking ass. Is that the same move? No. Not really. This one looks visually faster. That's the same. It's got. It's basically the same move. Maybe it just looks faster because, you know, my brain is telling me it is. Uh, three superior sword knight bones? Eyeball. I'll take them for now. Yeah, I was going to say. We're probably near at the end. All right. We go dump all these off. I'm very happy with the progress that we made. My, my basic Polax guy didn't get a chance to do anything. However, Bandit Leader and Superior Polax got to level up a little bit. Did I find what I was looking for? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, she's got a depth of five. I didn't realize that the nun had that kind of depth. I thought she was only a depth of three total. Oh, the more you know. We are, look at that, I've gotten one depth upgrade already on the Templar Knights, but I really get to use them. I finally fought a single elite assassin, by the way. I fought maybe one, maybe two. I've got two two bones upgraded on there. Um, they're kind of hard, dude. Like, it kind of sucks using them because they're very fragile. They're like the nuns and the regular assassins. If you're fighting up against uh, really hard-hitting, difficult opponents, they, they're kind of squishy. But when you're fighting against them, though, damn, they're, they're kind of tough. Uh, preemptively get the juice going. Now, equipment-wise, we got some pauldrons here. When using a jump, the opponent's per power chance reduces. So, I don't know about you, but I've seen that our, uh, our bandit guy here, his inspiration strike is a leap, right? That, that big leap we saw that destroyed people, it's kind of built for him. It's kind of built for him, and that's, that's, that's all I need to see is it's built for him. Now, I do want to get my, my basic Pole Knight guy leveled up a little bit, because him being level 1 and not having fought at all, kind of rough. Now, this is the balance of the game. I'm By the way, I'm trying to get my last backpack slot unlocked, so I'm going to be pouring some more blood. Only six more needed. I should get that last slot after this next area. Um, I, it's, it's kind of a balancing act, because you want to fight more with the guys that you like in order to level them up faster so you're not wasting days, and to fix their moveset more than anything. It's all about getting a better set of moves for your character. That's not a bad spot to go to, to be honest. That's not a bad spot to go to. Oh, that spot. That's level three anyway. Uh, it's between here and here. Mm. We could go here. We could, we could go here. We could totally go here. This spot kind of sucks to fight him, but we can go here. There's a lot of tough enemies. There's a Gravekeeper here. Bruh. Gravekeepers are not to be messed with. Gravekeepers kind of scare the hell out of me. Now, this is a level 2 area. What I want to do is I'm going to take Bandit... Ah, oh, I didn't... I didn't want to waste the meat, but now that I look at it, 80% life. Kind of sad looking. But he's tough. He can he can handle this. Yeah, here we go. I don't want to... I don't want this guy to be... Oh my god. To be taken too lightly. This man, he swings fast. And m many times. Fast, speed, and multi-hits. Uh, this guy's... He keeps baiting me. I'm, I'm, like, stopping to parry. But he's then stopping and trying to parry my move. Sir. This is a slug first. We're just trading hits back and forth. He's so fast. I'm trying to... I, I swear to you, I'm trying my best to time these parries. But his swings are like lightning. And then there's that one that's really slow. Oh! He's got... Oh my god. Whoa, that was close. He just pulled out that, that spin on the spot move that I hadn't seen until then. Crazy. Okay, well, Bandit Leader is taking care of one of the problems. 
Ooh, slow mid swing. Hits really hard though. And by upgrading it, we increase our uh, chance at getting a better move. All right, I'm going to swap over to the regular Poleaxe. And we're going to hope that we don't come up against the other hard enemy in this area. I want him to fight some reasonably, you know, reasonably simple enough enemies that he can fight. Here we go, a regular bandit. Having said that, regular bandit. Oh my god, that swing is so slow. I forgot he has the Dio swing. Oh, look at that swing. I mean, yes, it's going to do a lot of balance damage. He's so low to the ground. He's low profiling my swings. See that? I'm missing. He doesn't even need to dodge that. It's just hitting. Oh my god. Your swings are weird, dude. Uh. Oh, I, I saw that coming. I forgot he's got the balance adjustment. Did that just whiff on me? Bruh, you're weird. You're weird. I need to get rid of this move. Oh, it's so slow. This Dio move is the worst. Oh, that was close. Dude, that was so close. Yeah, that number three move is, is appalling. We need to... Thank you. We're going to get rid of it. It's a slow move, but it's at least better than that. That move was, was way too slow. Um, it's bad enough that I had to cancel it every single time we even tried to commit to it. I'm hoping that's enough experience to get into level two. But I think that enemy's only worth like 60, maybe 70 XP, so he might be a little bit behind. If I have the chance to get him a little bit more life back, um, I might do that. Uh, bandit leader. How are you so fast, bandit leader? With a weapon so big. I haven't used my uh, special move on this guy yet. I should give it a whirl. Oh my god. Yeah. Bandit leader had a bad matchup with a dude that was really fast that I wasn't keen on, on understanding. I, like, I didn't know how to fight him. Uh, my bandit leader, at least. But uh, our superior Poleaxe Knight is definitely uh, showing us why he's called Superior Poleaxe. He's kind of nuts. Gold. Thank you. We need this to upgrade our, our armor. It's always a... Oh, here we go. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. A lot of this guy's swings come in the form of very rapid multi-hitting swings. Now, he's meant to have low poise, low balance himself, right? Because he's he's, he's, a, he's a light guy. He, he doesn't have all the the armor to, to protect his balance. But he doesn't need it if he commits to bullying me. The problem is he's currently getting bullied. What was that, dude? Look at the, You see the flourish on that? He did, like, a bunch of spins that did nothing before the swing actually hit. <laughs> These guys confuse me. They confuse me. He did like two little spinnies and then swung. So he's baiting me into early parrying. Quick and short versus medium and mid. I mean... The damage is almost negligible. Speed over... Over distance, but you know what? I don't really mind. How many more fights are there? Are we almost done? Because my, my team is looking kind of frail right now. Didn't have any keys, but oh, here we go. So I can get rid of... I can definitely get rid of these bones. I don't need those right now. I'm not going to make a basic bandit. We're out of here. Okay, good. My team survived. We made it through. I hope you realize it's impressive enough for me to just be able to get out of these areas. Level 4 injury on my bandit leader, though. Not good. I want to I want to burn a day and uh, help my boy out. Hang on. I need to put my bones away first. Put my, my skulls in order. Ah, oh, finally. Two depth on the bandit leader. Now, here's... Where's my confusion here? Right. There's Grave Keeper. He's a dual wielder as well. We fought one Grave Keeper, but I think the first one that we fought was Grave Keeper Reverse. That's the one that messed up my, my bandit guy, I think. Yeah, because that's the one my, my superior knight fell. Uh, I don't understand the difference between them. There's Reverse and then there's Basic. I don't know the difference, but what I do know is I'm not good at fighting either one. I'm really... 
I'm really not good at fighting either one. Uh, we're gonna fix up his bones first. Because his bone kinda, kinda ouch. I might even fix up this guy. He's at two. I'm spending a day. So I may as well, like, fix up the other guy. I've got the resources. We have the means. Uh, now I can finish getting my... There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Now, I might get some more juice. My upgrades are kind of, kind of lacking. I know, I know. Wait, I'm one away from upgrading my dust. I just, I, I guess I just stopped and didn't continue. I don't know why. Uh, increases the initial amount of bone. I might boost this because that's going to increase the bones I get for other bodies at the start. Which means even if I don't have an extra skeleton right away, I could maybe make one. Now... Who's going to benefit the most from this? I think Leap of Death helps this guy a lot because of Inspiration Strike. But then again, yeah, I can't recast those just yet anyway. All right, we're going to... I'm going to boost up my Bandit guy's gear. Make them insane. Now he gets plus 6 defense and 60. Minus 60% 60 perfect parry chance on that Inspiration Strike. That's going to be rough for my opponent to deal with. May as well strengthen this while I have the gold. The effect itself isn't amazing, but the plus four to defense is going to help out a lot. You Like, don't underestimate the defense bonuses. It's it's quite nice. And we'll spend a day resting. Now, I haven't healed them up yet because uh, resting, it's 15%, I think, life that they recover when you rest, which is very, very nice. The amount of flesh consumed in corpse, recon corpse construction, I almost said reconstruction, Reduced by three, so I could make new bodies for cheap, but I don't need to make new bodies for cheap. I'm happy with these guys. Wait, both of these dudes hit three? Yeah, he did only get 50 XP. Oh no, my poor little knight. My poor little knight. Oh man. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to do some sharing. We're going to do some sharing as caring. We're going to give the basic knight the really, really good uh, gloves. No. Yes, no. No, we're going to give him the pauldrons because it has more defense. I know it doesn't exactly help him, you know, immediately, but what it's going to do is give him a boost in defense. Like the actual effect doesn't help him because he doesn't jump. At least I think he doesn't jump. Do you, do you jump? No, you don't jump, but he's going to get more defense. And I need to go to like a level one or two area, maybe even a two area and let him fight as many fights as he can manage and try and push him up a little bit. We need to... I need to make him stronger. If he stays weak like this, I may as well make someone else at that point. I'd, I don't have anyone else to make. We're going to run low on juice soon too if we don't start getting more. So another level 2 area. I could go here, fighting, what is it, a scout, two other Polaxe guys, and a, a, it's a regular sword. It's a bit of XP on the line there. Is that the only level 2 area? Wow, okay, so we go here. We'll go here. We'll fight the level 2 opponents. Take one pickaxe and one key. And I need to let my basic Polax guy get some XP. My other two are at three already, which is fantastic progress for them. Not good progress for my third. Now, I don't need to really, like, get my third guy leveled up that much, but I want him to. When there's one corpse in the party with zero life, critical hit chance goes up. That's fantastic, actually. Just put that on your anchor. Put that on the guy that you're going to use last, and he'll, uh... You'll see returns for days. Extra pickaxe, thank you very much. I'm hoping this run, I mean, it'll be a little bit slower because we have to kill more heroes. But I am hoping that it's... Oh my god, the flourish. You see the flourish on that move? Look at the dodges, man. Look at the dodges. He's got the moves, man. He's got the moves. Aha, I have the... I don't have the moves. I have some moves. Yo! That inspiration strike reach, though? Come on. Yes! Okay, we didn't take too much damage there. I was close to getting balance broken. I really needed him to get stunned first so I could re restore mine. There we go. Upgrade his, uh, his special. I'm just going to call it a special. And we get some skulls to increase the power of him. That's his type. What did we take? Yeah, we barely took any damage. If I can kill one or two more, that'd be nice. The inheritance bottle, don't need that. I'm not at a point where I'm accustomed to... Oh, there's a, a free teleport out. 
I'm not at the point where I'm ready to uh, start. Oh, this is scary. Scout fight. Scout's on him. Scary, scary dude, scary. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, my guy. No. Look at this monstrosity of an attack. No. I'd rather keep the weaker move that's at least got more utility to it. Yeah, right. How hurt are you now? Yeah, you're at injury four already? Damn. Okay, so what I can do with the rest of this area, these guys won't get experience from fighting weaker opponents, but they will get a chance to change their move sets around. So I'm going to take... Maybe... Mm, you've still got gear on you. Let's take our Polax guy through the rest. I don't need my little Polax guy to be, like, level 3 as well, as long as he hits, like, 2. And I think that scout's worth 120 XP, so he's easily level 2 now. But I do know that my... My superior knight here, that's, that, see that swing, that last swing? That one. You see the recovery on that after he does it? It takes him like an eternity to be able to swing again. I want to replace his third if I can. Let me get another stab. <laughs> We're playing the range game, are we? I've got more range than you. No, I'm kidding. I don't have more range than you. You've got, you've got running stab apparently. You're dead either way. You're dead either way. Oh yes, oh yes. Good speed, good range, it spins, big damage. Yep, I'll take it. I'll take it, please. Now I'm gonna put on my bandit leader. Let him get a win. If there's... That's only three dudes. Yeah, no, there's one dude left. I'm actually pretty pleased with his moveset, but if I can make them stronger, you know get upgraded levels of these abilities that do more balance damage. Like, that's the problem. Even if you're happy with the move set itself, if it's a low tier move set, doesn't matter. It's just weaker skills. I'll tell you what though, he builds combo meter fast. That, that meter down there is at 19. How dare you break my bones. Repeating the same move twice, I see. A lot of these opponents that have uh, spinny flourishes on their moves, they're like, they like spin the weapon in the air before they bring it down. Confuses me, man. I'm okay with that. That's the move that we had last time. I'm getting a lot of uh, go back and do the spinny again type of deals. Last enemy. Yeah, there we go. So I should be level two on my basic poleaxe, right? Please. Yeah. He is at level four injury, though. I don't know if I want to keep him in. Or if I want to rest him. Um, but I really don't want to waste any more days at the moment until I get like at least one more hero kill. So I might. I've got no juice. Ah, we've got no juice. How am I not getting. I need to go fight a hero, I think. I'm hoping there's a hero fight available now. Uh, no, no, no. Equipment. You've got his jump. You've got. Who's going to be my anchor? I wouldn't mind Bandit Boy being my anchor, so I might give you... No. The... No, no. Give those back. They belong to him. Give him the ring, which gives him even more defense. So he'll be tankier, and he also will be stronger with better crit chance if someone before him dies. So we'll use Superior Knight first, Little Dude in the middle, and then... Big brawler at the end. I'm kind of sad that I've only got these items so far. I wanted more, to be honest. I want more items. But I really can't be too choosy. We've got a lot of blood, though. Oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna keep pumping the bones a little bit. There we go. Now, did I give them juice? No. It's the last of my juice. Uh-oh. Well, I better go out here and kill a boss... Because boss fights, after you beat... There we go. I was going to say, surely there's at least one of them showing up. It's the uh, the marshal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if we win, we are guaranteed at least a gold and a crystal node by the looks of it. 
So I know what I need to bring. Resources. I can see my resources. So yeah, yeah. We get at least four juice, which I'm going to need. I'm going to need quite desperately. So I need to take two pickaxes at least. I'm going to take one key. And I'm going to take about five crystals. Might even take my guardian stone in case we die. But if I die here, it might be a run ender because I have no juice to come back and all these dudes will rot before I get the chance to do much else. All right. We're going to let our superior knight take the front. He's going to do the best he can to work the enemy down. We then rotate into... Oh, that's the double. I should recognize that. I've seen that move enough to recognize it now. I should know. That's the blood move. I can't actually stop that. I feel like I'm being outranged. I need to get in close. I still don't know what to do about that. I don't have time to back up. Whoa, that was a dodge and a half. Sir. Big swing. Superior Polax Knight has been the unfortunate victim of one too many magical attacks that I can't avoid. And as a result, has been kind of screwed over a little bit. He's bringing it though. Oh, now he's dead. Now he's dead. It's okay, it's okay. Now Bandit Keith comes in. <laughs> now Bandit Leader Keith comes in. He needs four for his special. I've come ill prepared. He's giving it to him though, dude. He's pissed. He's like, I saw what you did to my, my Polaxe brother. He's got speed on his side, man. Look at the speed. Look at the weight. Ah, too slow on that. Doesn't matter. 21 damage boost. Dead. Look at that. He's able to swing fast enough to interrupt the, uh, the other knight from getting his moves off because he keeps stopping to parry. Oh my god, look at the damn 61 and 57. Slow start rotation. It's slow as all hell, but that's that's like triple damage there, dude. That's amazing. I'll give that a whirl and see how that goes. Get it? Whirl, because he spins. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's the stuff. There's the stuff. This is why we come in here to fight bosses. Use a key. Get two keys. Now we get some extra crystals back. I got extra pickaxes when I came in here. Didn't know I was going to get them. Couldn't bank on it. Didn't need to bring any. Gold. We're going to be some very geared up fellas. I've got one more slot left. Oh, good. There we go. I was going to say, did that last slot that I unlocked come in handy? Did I need that? No, I didn't. There we go. We've got a lot of decay on us, though. My, my little dude on the right is, is halfway. My bandit's halfway. Ah, oh, and there's some bone damage, too. We got a lot, though. We got a lot. Let me come over here real quick, and there we go. I might even keep going on it, to be honest. Hmm, actually, I should upgrade my hearts and, and herbs a bit more. If I have extra bodies that I get at the start, I'm going to need extra resources to improve them. So, the gear that I got... Nice helmet. When the combo has exceeded 7, starting attack speed is increased. That's going on my bandit leader because of that number 1 move that he has. So once his combo gets to above 7, 30% faster. Mm, especially for those big slow swings. Very nice. When the current level of the attack actions is lower than or equal to... That's a bad one right there. We don't want that. Can I replace that? Because I want them to have stronger moves that are above 1.5 one, one stars. If the imbalance value is 30% or less, balance damage is increased. So stronger at the start. That's actually pretty good to put on my Poleaxe guy because he can reduce his balance meter between combos after he stuns someone. So you were getting... I'm going to keep doing that by accident, dude. I can feel it. You are definitely getting the speed increasing helmet. I can't give it to you because it's light armor. Damn. The problem with having three heavy dudes right from the start... Hmm, how are we looking on bones anyway? I may have to bring more bones back from when I go outside. I didn't burn skulls. Forgot to burn skulls. 
Nice. Nice. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of bone injury going on around here. Let's fix them up. It's expected after a hero fight, to be honest. Now, I'm low on dust, but I'm not going to worry about it until I really need it. We've got plenty of bones over here to break. I'm going to leave the other guy at two bone break, but it's, it's kind of scary, to be honest. But I've got four juice again. Now, that's not really enough juice. Reading will take a day. From here, my strategy is to bum rush the heroes. If I can beat a hero fight after, you know, in succession, I should always get enough juice back to keep keep flowing in the fights. Now, you need... You know what? I've got plenty of meat. I'm just going to make sure you're topped up completely. There we go. Kind of anxious about you, Mr. Bandit Boy. I might give you an extra one. Because these two I need to be alive, but he's already a little bit ahead in, in decay. All right. You still don't have any equipment on. I'm kind of sad for you. I have no gear. I need to find more stuff. Like, this guy's not wearing enough. This guy's got all three pieces on. I have gold, though. Like, I need to upgrade a piece of gear. Uh, I might upgrade yours. Since you only have one piece on. Yo, one piece? Upgrade this. 20% extra crit chance. Very nice. I may as well just go all in and just upgrade everything if I'm going to keep getting gold like this, man. There's not much else I can do about it. Did I... Did I give you guys juice but not ready you up? I'm silly. I was about to say, I think... I'm... Ah, the Jester fight, right. So, the, uh, the Jester is a problem. He's very squishy. He's weak. He's not as, like, tanky as that big knight, the Marshal. But he has magic attacks, and his magic attacks are all fire-based. He has a fireball that he throws from a distance. I have no idea how to deal with these attacks. And he has a magical, fiery AoE attack that just... If you're too close, you get hit. It's similar to the Marshal's blood attack that happens all around him. So, and they do a lot of damage. My strategy... Oh, nice, some extra gear. My strategy... Is... Bring one pickaxe for a start. My strategy is very simple. Bring a lot of these so I can use the skills of my, my bandit guy if I need to. Um, bum rush the jester and just keep swinging and make him parry. And make him uh, scared. Because otherwise, I'm in danger. We'll start with my superior knight. I guarantee one or two dudes will die in this fight. I dodged the fireball. That's how you dodge it? You just dash at the right time? Had no idea. Yep. This is expected. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've... We're learning. We're learning in real time. Oh! Oh no. Wait. A chance. An opportunity for the little knight to prove himself. The littlest knight with the biggest heart. <laughs> <laughs> Die. I almost got that solo. That's a mate. So now I know how to dodge the fireballs. You just... I did, like, I've tried that, but I must have been timing it badly in the past. Oh, I'd rather you didn't have a really slow start, but that's really big damage and it's a massive upgrade. Yeah, all right. And our little knight got big experience. That's 300 XP. He's definitely level three, right? Here we go. This is what we came for. Look at all the goods, man. Look at all the goods. As long as I get enough juice to sustain us. That's not enough juice. I should have brought more keys. Tink, tink, tink. Break away. This is where the darkest dungeon aspect comes in. People are all like, you know, how would you describe this? Um, it, it does borrow a little bit from darkest dungeon. I'm not going to lie. Meditation ball. This lets me replace attack actions. Um... Who has a move that I don't want them to keep? Probably the Superior Knight. There's, there's still stuff on him I want to change. Yeah, he's got a, a, a one-star starter still. There we go. He needs help. He's meant to be our front line, and he's just not... He's there, but he's not quite there, you know? Nah, I need more juice. Oh, come on, man. Don't do that to me. Did I only get two juice to come back with? I was promised, like, six juice. I needed to bring more keys. 
I only brought one key because I thought I'd get more out of the first chest like I normally do, but I, I didn't, so I, I banked on it and it didn't work out. That's kind of rough for us because I've only got two, so my little man's up here is going to miss out. Assuming that I take 30% decay, he can sustain the last hero fight and then he'll rot. Well, he'll he'll make it to the, the final fight as long as I don't lose the next fight. So these two, these two can take one each, because, you know, they're, they're, sorry to say, they're a little bit more important. Fix these guys up. Now, I got one ring. Damn. When decay doesn't exceed 30%, magical damage taken is reduced. Uh, we're all sorts of decayed right now, dude. That's not really what I want. When being stunned, flesh defense goes up. That's actually really nice. We'll just take way less damage after we get stunned. Very cool. Now, if I salvage that, yeah, I just get the same amount back. Now, where's that piece that I didn't like? I think it's this one. I could, yeah. I get one more reforge on this. When attacked by a hammer. Oh, no. Wait, no, I just realized I've got one more hero fight to go. My little Polax Knight's probably going to rot and die. Oh, no. He just at level three, though. He's powered up, dude. And I have no bones for another... I haven't gotten any... I've been, like, dumping bones. I should have brought, like, the, the one nun bone back. All right, so it's going to be a little bit hectic. We may be going into the demon fight with, like, two dudes and a dream. Yikes. <laughs> it's setting in. Yikes. I have to keep... Um, Polax guy, my basic little Polax guy from dying in this next fight. But at the same time, yeah, okay. Not much choice. All right, prison fight against the torturer, the big behemoth. Um, oh, he's dual-wielding axes. I thought they were like cleavers. I've never really noticed what they were too much. A lot of good resources on the line. I'm bringing at least one pickaxe. That's good. And we get the, uh, the meditation ball. We need to bring... Can wear more equipments. No, I can't. Who can who can wear more equipments? Oh wait, it's just telling me that they have open slots, right? Like he's got open slots, but I can't put these. I didn't put my ring in. It was telling the truth. It was telling the truth. Alright, minimum two keys. I'm gonna take like ten gems. Like, you know, three keys. Like, a billion gems. This needs to work out flawlessly. If this backfires on us, we're in danger. Now, his decay is at 66%. He's getting a bit of extra decay because he keeps dying. Can't really help that. <laughs> I need someone to go first. And my little basic knight on the far right, he's definitely screwed because he hasn't got any juice. This guy's a hard fight. This guy's a berserker. So he's, he's kind of like the prisoners. He doesn't stagger, and he doesn't like to parry. He'll just swing. So it's going to come down to me parrying against him and stealing turns and poking in between his downtime. He's kind of... Those are cleavers, dude. Axe is my ass. I'm not used to the timing on some of these moves still, as you can see. Oh, my God. Big swing. Oh, my second. Holy crap, dude. Spin on him. Oh, thank you. All right. All right. My superior Polax Knight is being such a good front line. He's doing so much work for me before he dies. It's just a shame that he is dying, but that's kind of his role right now. Uh, an upgrade for this. He hasn't had a single upgrade for his special move yet. All right. We open up these. Oh, that's not enough juice. I need more juice, please. Can I get another chest with more juice in it? Ah... 
Uh, two juice. I need more juice. More juice, please. I'm gonna have to start pumping more upgrades from my blood into starting preservatives. I'm losing the long game. Ah, uh, meditation ball, right? Yep. All right, who needs the meditation ball treatment? Probably my bandit. My bandit's gonna be the the big, the big like deciding. For yeah, he's got a one star move in slot two. Funny enough, he's not been getting many good move upgrades. He's kind of behind on them. I think my my superior knight and my little basic polax guy. Oh, please, please, come on, man, give me the juice. Only two juice. I think little dude's dead now, right? 95? Wow. Okay, so he'll actually survive to go into the final fight. Yeah, the central area has been opened up. He's at 95% decay because we didn't have any juice for him last time. This is okay, though. Um, and we have, we have time. We have, like, what? What is that? Eight, seven days left? I have time to repair some broken bones. So let's grind some dudes down into dust. How much dust have I got? 11 plus 1. Nah, it's not enough. I need more, more dust. Is 15 enough? I need 6 for you. And yeah, just a little bit for you. There we go. Now everyone can get their, their, their help on, you know? Everyone can get a little bit repaired. Let me check these. We got new equipment over here. A heavy helmet, like it. When using middle distance, opponent's parry chance goes down. It's already an epic quality as well. Fantastic. If life is higher than or equal to 70%, the chance of waking up immediately from stun status goes up. Kind of handy, to be honest. Because a lot of the time I'm getting staggered and stunned really quickly. But more important than anything, we can upgrade this twice and get it to at least rare. That's a light armor. I just noticed it's light armor. Ignore me. There's no point doing that. Just to waste our resources, I guess. We don't really need them for anything anyway. Um, who's not wearing a helmet? You're not wearing a helmet. Go. Do you have many middle stance? Is it middle stance? What was it? Middle distance? Middle distance, right. Not medium star, middle distance. So that. I mean, it's an okay move. Yeah, okay, keep it. Just want to make sure he's not wasting his, uh stuff. From 79%, he should heal back to full from resting for a day. Same with you. Alright. A day's rest. Doesn't matter what our buff is. Technically speaking, from this point on, we've got a couple of days to beat the uh, the final boss, but really... Really, we, we don't have that much going for us right now. If we lose these three dudes, it might be kind of hard to make a comeback and actually train up some new guys in time. Realistically, I would only need like two or three days to do it. But if I lose all three of these guys, I don't have any bones. Like, normally you'll want to save bones for backup, but I've not done that. I'm kind of going all in on my basic team that I start with. So... Fingers crossed? Actually, I think my bandit leader might survive if we die. No. Maybe. I don't know. No. He'd take 14% damage plus dying damage... At Maybe it's only 8. He probably like 92%, 92, 93. Top you up, top you up. Doesn't matter. We should be okay. We start with the... Wait. There we go. So we've beaten all three of our opponents, right? The souls of heroes need it. We need these three souls. We have all three of these souls. We head in. Um. Yeah, let's, let's go fight this boss. Because it doesn't matter. I'm taking everything. He didn't expect that I would be bringing in so many of everything to this fight. We're gonna slay. Alright, we're gonna slay. Now, the demon fight does get harder. It may have seemed like it was easy in the first one. At least I hope it didn't seem too easy, but... It may have seemed a little bit easy, but... He does get tougher as we go. I've, I've died here, I think, once or twice. Because his moves are very fast and a bit tricky to mess... Oh, to, to get... Because he does a lot of, like, weird... He's got fa Oh, he's got fast flurries, and he's also got slow moves. 
Wow, that hurts. Lost my combo though. Really? He just ruined my super move. Bruh. Oh, he did it twice? Okay, bandit leaders got this. Sick. That, that spin that he does right there. Oh, there we go. That, that starting move is super, it's too slow. It's too, this right here. Oh, we actually hit it. He just hit, whoa, he clashed with my spin super. Wait, let him die. <laughs> the hero we need. <laughs> the hero we need. The basic poleaxe, let's go. And that's it. We win the run. I don't know how long this took, but I'm hoping it was like, I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit longer in the sense that I have to, like harder fights to do, but hopefully it wasn't that much longer. Who do I get now? I get basic dudes to start with. Who's, who's here? A lightning guy, superior sword and regular sword. Cute. What kind of skill? Wow, look at the, wow, look at this. We start with a fair bit of stuff over here. Um, we got three mad knights. Yo, Griffith energy. Man, pretty cool. Now, um, I have some, some juice to drop off. Let's drop off some juice. Hmm. What was I upgrading? The hearts. There we go. Hearts and herbs. Done. Look at that. And if I wanted to, I would upgrade my difficulty to the, the, the two crystal difficulty and try and beat five heroes and the final boss. But I think I'm going to need to do a little bit more upgrading first. Like, especially my preservatives. We ran dangerously low. Sometimes I have a lot of preservatives and very poor gear or not enough uh, golden iron or not enough crystals. Uh, and sometimes you just don't get any. And preservative is like the most important thing. If you run out of these, your bodies die. Everything gets worse. Also the timer. I guess if I boost my timer a bit more and get to like, I don't even know what the max cap is. Is it like 20 days, 18, 19 days? I don't know. But getting more max time is definitely going to help with raising up more bodies. I guess the strategy that I want to employ moving forward is to have like two teams of six, like six total bodies, have team A and team B and then bounce back and forth. So when team A is resting their bones to get bone injury recovery, team B is out doing stuff. And that way I have more resources. I'm getting more, more uh, gear and more ingots. And as people start to die and decay, A and B kind of blend together. Like the best fighter from A and the best fighter from B become one team by the end. The stragglers die off. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. In any case, it's time to wrap things up. There's your follow-up, dudes. I hope you've enjoyed. I really wanted to get some of the more unique guys in this run, but the game really wanted me to have that bandit leader and those two Polaxe guys. So the triple axe team, I think actually pulled through just fine, considering it was an increase in difficulty. Uh, last time we had the scout and the Polaxe guy kind of pull, it, pull their way through and kind of carry things. If I do another one of these, if you want to see another one of these, let me know and I'll come back in. I doubt I'll do the five hero difficulty for a video because like I said, I just don't think I'm ready for it. So I'd probably be doing another two, uh, one gem difficulty with three hero fights to keep getting that blood because the harder the difficulty, the more resources you get. So I need to keep grinding away at this spot until I have more depth for my skeletons and more blood for my max upgrades and hopefully see some more of the unique guys. I haven't shown you any of the magical knights yet. They're kind of fun. I'm not really good at using them though. And the uh, the other higher tiered knights and uh, and special guys as well, like the grave keepers and the, the plague doctor. I really like the plague doctor. You guys have to see him. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed another look at Corpse Keeper and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.